we are going to be doing a uh, good little video here on this guy, which is the original Bond gun, right? Yeah. With? Uh, my name is Caleb Daniels with uh, Commando Bond on Instagram. So this is the uh, Beretta 418. It's a 25 ACP single stack striker fired handgun uh, written into the novels by Ian Fleming. So what's cool about this one in particular, it is from 1953, that's the year of production, and that's the first year the Bond novels were published. So this is the original Bond gun from the original Bond year. A uh, couple of the Fleming modifications included taking the grip panels off. He also shaved off the front sight and wrapped it in grip tape. I didn't do either of those things because I didn't want to do it to an original. Yeah, yeah. Um, it would be a little hard to shoot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I didn't want to disengage that safety. Right. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Little 25 auto. Um, you got to get used to that skeletonized grip, though. It is a little biting. Yeah. So he did that because he didn't know a lot about guns, and I assume it looks cool with the brass in it, right? Yeah, it was the grips being taken off for the purpose of the brass being exposed. He wanted to. He was literary, right? So he liked like three word phrases so the skeletonized grip Beretta was the thing that he liked to say um, and also he was in MI6 during the Second World War but he was an office guy he worked mm. as a secretary and so this was really common at the time as like a pocket pistol so it was most likely the model that he was carrying inside his pocket in his suits every day while he was just walking about his life in the UK right so well, that's very it's inspired cool. by that and then we upgrade to the PPK and you know 32 ACP. Absolutely. Uh, Dr. No. Monster caliber 32 Yeah, ACP. big difference between 25 and 32. <laughs> right, right. Massive change. So, if you had to go with one, obviously you go with the PPK, but like... Absolutely. That's but I mean, a super cool carry gun regardless. You could pocket that. Yeah. You're talking about a gun 70 years old that you can pocket carry. Yeah, I use this a lot in the summer, like when I'm in lighter shorts and a t-shirt yep. as like an ultimate backup. I, I can usually get this to conceal, but if it doesn't work, this is just too much fun. And then the uh, trigger on this guy is a lot better than I expected it would be. But for, for a little a little tiny little carry gun, the trigger on that is really good. Yeah, well, I mean, you get used to it right now, like your little uh, hammer-fired ones. They're miserable. Yeah, But they this are. being a striker fired, and it's got a lot of time for those springs to break in, and they're all factory original. I haven't replaced a single part right. on those. So it's well polished. Yeah, it's very yeah. well polished yeah. through the years. Yeah. So, yeah, it's broken in over time. All right, well, we're going to go shoot it and see how it does. Party on. Yeah. All right, so. What are you shooting? Uh, I don't know if I am shooting yet. Get it. Roll the safety down. All right, roll this. Oh, the safety. So the safety is your slide lock too. Oh, I got you. Cool, cool. What you want to see is where your second shot. All right. If your second shot's high, then it was back in battery early, so you need pressure. Well, I hit that thing. It just didn't fall. I got that one too, it didn't fall. <laughs> I'm out. Is that 25? Yeah. yeah. That's that bomb gun I was telling you about right. last night. But it's yeah. accurate. Yeah. yeah. Just... I was telling you, that thing shoots like a champ. Here, we'll reload it and you show me how it's done. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that. Yes. Cool. You're doing it. All right, where's the magazine release? Like it's bottom? your, yeah. Sweet. It's like an old Beretta kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it is a Beretta. For the magazine, this one, it's the factory original that came with it, and you can't get these anymore. Got it. So it's got a little bit of a micro fracture right there. Oh, cool. Where it's cool. just opening up. Yep. So if you if you load it, sometimes you'll find it hard to go back into there. So it's just as smooth as you know, slow and all. Oh, that. I hear you on that. Yeah. Shoot ready. Stand by. Uh oh. Second strike. Nope. Hit me. This is going poorly. Oh, nope, we're out. All right, so we got three generations of Bond guns here. So we just shot the PPK, or the PPK rather. Yeah. And we had a little bit of issue with that, but it's still a smooth shooting gun for sure. Tell us a little bit about this guy. Yeah, so this is, if I may, this is the Walther P99. It's the Gen 1. Only a few of these, they're made from like 97 to 2003. This one's a later generation. The difference between this and the ones that we see in production now, you've got the proprietary rail here and then that really sharp 45 degree angle uh, trigger guard. This profile is super iconic because in 1997 and Tomorrow Never Dies, we see Brosnan kind of pick it up. He goes, ah, oh, you know, the new Walther, I've been meaning to get one of these or something to that effect. He carries it from that film all the way through Casino Royale and 
just out of nowhere in Quantum Assault, he's back to the 765 PPK. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I would consider that probably the most like combat effective one, though. Like, if I was in a gunfight, I'd want that. Yeah, so what's really cool is uh, Raymond Benson, he's an American author. He picked up the pen for the Bond franchise in the late 90s through the early 2000s. And what he had Bond set up with was the P99, just like this, with the PPK in the shoulder holster. So he had the PPK for the deep carry every day, and then if you knew he was mission ready, he'd pull out that P99. So it's a really neat blending of the two. Nice. Phenomenal single action trigger because you've got the decocker up here, so it's two stage yeah. trigger. Yeah, don't under don't underestimate that at all. No, I mean, out of all the triggers you've ever felt, that that is one of the cleanest, smoothest uh, striker fired, and the reset's the best. Yeah, I mean for factory, it's yeah. unbeatable. It's comparable to most stuff you see on the market today, and it was again 1997 when it was designed. And so we were talking really about cool. that earlier. You know, everybody loves the Canix, everybody loves all that stuff that came after, all the clones of the P99, but they were originally based on that, which is why they all have really good triggers. Absolutely. Yep. All right, well, I'll pop a few rounds on the range. I'll have you pop a few, and then For we'll sure. can it out. You ready? Yeah, sweet. It was proprietary. Wow. This was the first handgun to have removable back straps. Oh, wow. Well, so, that, that's quite an innovation. I use those on every gun. Yeah, so. I mean, literally every handgun you see now has the back straps. And then the paddle release, they've gone away from them now, but like everyone else has picked it up. Yeah, yeah. Those were the two innovations they had because before this, it was, I always called it like the Model T approach, like your Glock Gen 1s, Gen 2s. It was, you could have anything you want as long as it's in black. <laughs> right. So this was the first like module handgun on the market. So. Right. It debuted with this uh, system with the decocker. Within a year, they had seven different action systems, something crazy like that. They were shipping to different LEO agencies, so it didn't look like this for very long. Right. It, it changed dramatically, and they're still producing what that's now considered the Gen 3. <laughs> and they got the little indicator on the back, too. That's one of the older guns I've seen with that, which is pretty sweet. The yeah, it was indicator, first yeah. with the indicator, and it's got a loaded chamber indicator on the side, yep. and then, of course, the decocker up top. Right, that's very cool. Oh, very yeah. cool. Well, show me how it's done. See that. <laughs> I'll get you. Yeah, I was saying we need to... targets tend to help. Those help. <laughs> well, unless I'm not hitting them, in which case it looks a lot better, right? Yeah. If I can hit my own gun. You know, I always say I shoot best with this pistol. <laughs> <laughs> we shot pretty good earlier. Yeah. <laughs> the trick is you get it on camera, yeah. not well, so you much. Gotta, you